Today I'm going to show you guys a really cost-effective way to repair a walk-in cooler from having a traditional compressor to taking an air conditioner and a little piece of equipment called a CoolBot and setting it up, replacing the compressor, and you effectively have a compressor that's worth a couple thousand dollars for maybe five hundred dollars. Let me explain what I've got set up here and how this can save you a ton of money when you're getting started. That's coming up next on The Urban Farmer. Walk-in coolers are a super important piece of equipment to have on any farm. It's hands down the most important piece of equipment that we use on the farm. Without commercial refrigeration, there's, it would be impossible to do a lot of the things that we do. And there's many reasons for that. Maybe I'll save those for another video. But today, I want to show you guys how I've been able to modify these really simple standalone walk-in coolers that are restaurant style walk-in coolers, how I've modified them to use an air conditioner as the main compressor source, which uses way less power, about half the power that a standard compressor uses. I do it with a little piece of equipment called the CoolBot, and the link for that is below. What this thing does is it tricks an air conditioner to think that it's warmer than it is. It basically works by, there's, there's about four wires, or there's three wires that come out of this thing. One of them is, a, is a power, the power source. One of the wires is a, takes the room temperature. The second wire is a wire that replaces the thermostat in the air conditioner and takes, the, takes this one and, go, and this wire goes in the fins of the air conditioner. The second one is called the heater, or the third one is called the heater, and that is a wire, when you take the thermostat wire out of the air conditioner, out of the fins of the air conditioner, you connect it to this to this heater wire with a, and you wrap a piece of tin foil around it and that actually heats up the thermostat so effectively what this thing does is it tricks the air conditioner running to think that the, the room is warmer than it is and so the, the air conditioner runs for longer and that's effectively how you get cold temperatures in there. I run mine at two to four degrees Celsius which is optimal for vegetable production. So let's just take a look inside and what we've got here, so you can see there's some just some simple wires around here. You can tape, I can tape, tape these up better to make sure they're not in the way. But this saves a ton of power and it saves me from having to replace a compressor. Because what happened here this summer is in late August, my compressor and this cooler finally bit the dust. And Instead of going to get that compressor fixed, which would cost a lot of money, I've done it in the past, it costs about $1,000. I can go and spend half of that, get a new air conditioner and a cool bot for $300, so maybe about $600 altogether, and have this thing operational. And it uses about half the power. So all I've done in this case is I've rigged up some R40, it's about one inch, one and a half inch thick insulation, around the box where the normal compressor sat on the cooler. This is the compressor here. And um, so it's basically directing the air from the air conditioner to go into the cooler. I've sealed it up with some tuck tape and I could probably even go further and take some sealing foam like great stuff or something like that and seal in the edges to get better insulation. It's very simple. What I'm using here is an LG 10,000 BTU air conditioner. 8,000 will work as well, but I don't think you can do it with anything less than an 8,000 BTU for something this size. These walk-in coolers are four by six by six feet tall, both of them. And, and I, both of these have, have the same setup. In fact, I'm actually changing one of the air conditioners on this one. Um, but I don't need to at this point in the season because I'm, I'm slowing down and I'm only using one cooler right now. But uh, so you can get, you know, a $300 air conditioner sometimes for $200 and hook up your cool bot. The cool bot's a very simple piece of electronics. It doesn't really, there's not really much that can go wrong with this thing. So in the event where something happens, it's probably the air conditioner and it's a lot cheaper to fix or replace an air conditioner than it is a traditional compressor. So, you know, this, simp this setup is so simple. And 
it's the beauty of it is is it allows you to go out on the marketplace and find a walk-in cooler like this for very cheap because to buy one of these new that has a functioning compressor is you'd be hard pressed to find one for anything less than two thousand dollars but the only really thing you need that's important is the shell you know the shell of these coolers is just made with aluminum siding with insulation on the inside the compressor is the most valuable part though as far as the price so you can go out on the marketplace and just find a walk-in cooler that doesn't have a functioning compressor and you can probably find them at a steal of a deal like say five hundred dollars or even less at the same time you can also just build a cooler out of two by fours and frame it in and then use a blue insulation like that to to build your own casing for it but i like these these stand-up walk-in coolers because they're they're pretty available like these are restaurant style ones and restaurants are always going out of business and so you can find coolers like this relatively cheap and if you don't have to have a functioning compressor you can just build one with an air conditioner and a cool bot it's it's a super simple thing so um, I, I would highly suggest if you have limited space on setting up something like this. So I just want to explain a couple things that I did specifically in this one and I built, this is the second one I've put together, is there's a thermostat wire that comes out of the air conditioner and it normally sticks in the fins of the air conditioner there. So we, re we take that out and then we take the heater wire from the cool bot and stick them together. But what I've had to do is I've had to put them in a little case. So all that thing is, is a, a chunk of two inch wide PVC that I've put in there and I've taped it off to keep the cold air blowing off the, the uh, heater and thermostat wire because when I first set it up, I was having a problem where it wasn't getting a read of the right temperature because it was blowing cold air on it. So that's basically just sheltering it from the air blowing on it and then it's just reading the ambient temperature. And so that's how I've problem solved this issue I had with the thermostat. And fortunately, the people at Coolbot were super helpful and they actually, um, one guy in particular named Freddie helped me come up with that idea. And so I did that and it worked. And that's basically how it all works. It's just a simple, it's just styrofoam boxed around the exhaust of the air conditioner that sits over the hole in the cooler and just dumps and just, and just directs the air down into it. So it's really simple. If you guys have any more questions and comments about that, please leave them below. The link for a cool bot, if you want to purchase it, is below there as well. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends. And check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com and my book at TheUrbanFarmer.co where you can find my one-day workshop, the free extras I have that's an accompaniment to my book and a few other things. And if you'd like to make a donation to the show, it's much appreciated and always welcome. You can do that at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. All right, thanks for watching.